Hi guys, it's Karen Wood and our PLO Recap Season 1, Episode 7, The Homecoming Hanover. Emily falls at homecoming and gets passed out and has blood on her forehead. Toby drives her to the hospital. Emily said she wanted to come out, meaning she's gay. Emily wakes up and Janet is in her room with her dog, Aria's brother Mike doesn't take it very well that his... Sorry, I have something on my lip. Now we pick at it and get it off. The parents are separating, which leads him to fight at school after his mother decides to not watch his game as Mike and Arya's father will. Or Ar Mike and Arya will. Oh, I can't talk. I'll be there. Hannah makes up with Sean, but is more interested in Lucas. I have to fix that because last time I said I couldn't read it. But is more interested in Lucas. The girls minus Arya go to the woods. The phone goes off. Emily calling Arya. Throws Toby's files into the river. Emily texts him saying don't destroy that file. But they did. Spencer and Alex find some fun in the country club's kitchen. And they kiss. A message. Thanks for and Toby out of my way. A. A ending. A fishes up the document. The girls throw in the river. It contains files at Toby Cavanaugh. Season 1, episode 8. Please don't talk about me when I'm gone. Flashback to Ally saying how to die in a tragic way it would be incredible in this mysteriously way it would make her superior book people, which is kind of an explanation for what happened that night. Due to the marriage financial problems, Hannah's credit cards get declined. Way different person playing Jason, another actor, you know. Jason says there won't be closure till we find out who did this to Alice and the cops in this town have been jerking around my family for more than a year. Sorry. My hair's getting thin on me. Um, no more. Uh, no more that I'm here to get some action. And this memorial is going to help me get it. Jason adds Jenna Marshall to the speaking. To speak the memorial. She asked me if she could. Jenna calls that Allie has a lot of help to her after her accident, and Jason says going to have a talk with Detective Wilden and find out why they haven't located Toby yet. Emily and Maya's relationship blossom when Emily asks Maya on a date. Spencer hopes holds Allie's only break point gets a flashback. Jenna isn't blind, blind in this one. Allie, God, Jenna's jerk is looking at us. Aria, very seeing something about a straining crowd she's hanging with. Why don't she take her gain and go home instead of seeing her group me out? A message Spencer. Subject, dedication. Do it right. I'll be watching just like Tom Sawyer. Literature reference. A. Are you Grace? I'll go on a double date with Sean's friend Noel Wilden. It's a small town. Hannah sometimes private like in public life can be muddled with. Hannah goes, yeah, I know. Yeah, tell me about it. Spencer talks to Jenna. Jenna says, is Jason different? I got the impression he's different. Spencer says, yeah, he's different. He's not polished. Jen says, you know, when I was talking to him, I got the strange sensation like I was in the room with us. Jen says, Allie was done with you. We talked about it in the hospital. She told me she ha said you was, she was afraid of you. No wonder you did what you did. Hannah's deal does to put a lot. Oh, Hannah. Hannah decides to put a lot of her old clothes and handbags up for auction online with the help of a new alley. Lucas, Ren, Toby, Kavanaugh calls her sister's phone the night she disappeared. She took the call. Flashback, Alice says, you know you never disappoint a ghost. Hmm. Jason says that his mom's so many pills to sleep when they don't wake work. You can hear her walking around at 3 in the morning. You think oh, ever they're going to have closure. Allison sends in Jazz and Spencer. Spencer, you are just like Allison, aren't you? Jason, she says that to Jason, Jason says back in some ways even worse, Arya realizes Noel is more than just a pretty face. Allie's memorial, Ian shows up, Spencer's Arya, or Spencer, speeches, Arya seemed a little fake, but somebody bury Allie alive, which is Mrs. D, I don't find out, Jason gives him Allie's bracelet, whose bracelet did they find, late that night somebody comes out, and destroys Allie's memorial, who is later revealed to be Lucas. 